You may or may not have heard about the recent feud between legendary Kiss guitarist Ace Frehley and Justin Hawkins, lead vocalist for The Darkness. If you haven't heard about this, it's pretty entertaining. If you have heard about it, stick around for this video because I was actually there for this craziness. Hey guys, this is Tom Taylor with Rock News Desk, and let's get into this crazy story. It all started on the recent Monsters of Rock cruise, which sailed out of Miami, Florida, made its way to Cozumel, Mexico, and then to Nassau, the Bahamas. There were about 40 musical acts on the ship, playing from about noon to about midnight for five straight days. Headlining this floating festival were Joe Satriani and Ace Fraley. Each of the acts played two shows on the cruise. For Ace's second show of the cruise, he played in the second largest venue, Studio B. Now I can't say for certain exactly what the problem was, but Ace got started late and it pushed the second act behind by about 40 minutes. That next act was The Darkness. Apparently, The Darkness frontman Justin Hawkins took exception to this and he began taking shots at Ace during the Darkness set. He began by calling the spaceman a not-so-nice C-word. In fairness to Justin, while it's one of the nastiest things you can call someone in the States, in the UK it's about the same as calling someone a dick. The word gets tossed around quite a bit there and rolls off the tongue quite easily. The first mention of Ace was this. You've noticed I wear a watch on stage. Some of you think, oh, that means it's not 100% in it. And he has to sort of regard the time because he just wants to get back and eat the prawn sandwiches in the dressing room. There's a bit of truth in that. But I think the important thing about rock and roll is punctuality. I'm not going to mention any names, but somebody overran and thus we were late coming on stage. I apologize to all of you. But in fairness, the artist that overran, I I'm not going to name any names, okay? I won't name any names. But I think some of their rider requirements were a little bit difficult to source in the middle of the Caribbean. One of those being wig adhesive. <laughs> I'm talking about Ace Freely, sorry guys. <laughs> I don't give a fuck if you're the biggest rock star in the world. If you make the dark this late, you are a cunt. That's it. So we're going to play our entire set, and you guys are going to fucking love it. In that clip, you hear Justin suggesting Ace was late arriving to the stage because of his contract writer, saying it is hard to source wig adhesive while sailing in the Atlantic Ocean, making reference to the wig Ace has worn for several years. It appeared, because of the accent, the crowd didn't quite understand what Justin said. I was recording the video, and I wasn't sure what he had said. The crowd was loving the insults, though, and Hawkins visited that well a few more times throughout the show. Here, Justin calls Ace a cunt again. Everyone, um, just bounce, because if you don't bounce, we ain't gonna play our most famous song. And God forbid we might run over by 40 minutes like some other cunts do. Again, he had some fun at Ace's expense when he spotted a fan in the crowd wearing a blue wig. It starts by members of the crowd urging him to continue with the insults by screaming Ace's name, and Justin was quick to revisit his favorite topic of the night. At the end of this clip, he mentions Pritt Stick, which is an adhesive glue stick, suggesting it could be used to glue down a wig. I also want to say thank you to all of the other artists for being so accommodating. It's just, it's really been great to hang out with Richie Cotson and Nuno and, all, and Glenn Hughes and all those f***ing legends. It's just amazing. And to feel like, I mean, so, I mean, and most of all, I want to say thank you to Ace Freely for affording me the opportunity to work on some of my speaking stuff. I, I, I am available for after dinner in, uh, speaking engagements. As long as the hours are okay. Trust me. Let me ask you something. Real, take it down. Where'd you get your wig from? Amazon. I think it's the same place Ace gets his from. Isn't it? Just joking. Oh, I'm not going to get a Oh, don't get a wig, Joker. Oh, crap. I'm irrepressible when it comes to wig stuff. Oh, I love it. Oh, God. 
because in a few years I'll have Prit stick on my rider as well. <laughs> I'm gonna stop that. <laughs> Have you had enough of that sort of yeah. no! oh. Oh. I think there's a reason why they weren't playing on the pool deck during a hurricane, if you know what I mean. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's like, it might be true, I don't know. Just working the blue material, get it? Because it's a blue mix, isn't it? Not this kid's present. Right. The crowd seemed to love the fun Justin was having. Like I said, they even egged him on to continue. Ace, however, did not seem quite as happy when he heard about the shots that had been taken at him. The next afternoon, Ace was sitting in the Royal Promenade coffee shop. He was sitting in the back corner with what appeared to be his personal security and event staff keeping people away from him. Honestly, it looked like the scene out of a mob movie. He was sitting there alone with gatekeepers around him. Justin Hawkins coincidentally came down to order a couple of coffees to take back to his cabin. I spoke to him while we were both in line waiting to order. After we both had ordered, Ace's two, I think, personal security guards approached Justin and asked him what his problem was with Ace. Justin replied that he had no problem with Ace. The security guy told him Ace had heard what he had said on stage the night before and he didn't think it was funny. Justin replied and said it was all in fun. The security guy told Justin he had heard he was cracking on Ace about his wig. Justin replied, I don't remember exactly what I said, but where I'm from, everyone takes a piss at everyone. It's all in a good time. The security guy said Ace was really offended and motioned towards Ace, the godfather, sitting in the back corner. Justin offered to go talk to him and the security guard agreed that would be a good idea. At this point, I was out of range of the conversation. But the second security guard told Laura, Ace's girlfriend, that Justin had said he was just having a bit of fun, to which Laura rolled her eyes and said, what the fuck ever. Ace's drummer, Scott Coogan, was standing about 15 feet from Ace and was heated. He was telling people he seemed to know that he loved Ace and would kick someone's ass for him. After a whole two minutes of conversation at most, Justin leaned in towards Ace. Everyone smiled and a few photos were taken. Justin posted this photo on his Instagram with the caption, Cruise Life, Drama on the High Seas, and Coffee, Legendary Times on the Caribbean Ocean. On Ace's Instagram, a slightly different photo was posted with a caption that read, Got to hang with at Justin Hawkins Rides Again from at the actual darkness in the middle of the Caribbean. So there you have it. Was it all in fun, or is this the kind of thing you just don't talk about on stage? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thanks for watching.